Hey there, in this tutorial I want to talk about Genesis Simple Hooks. This plugin is for those who are using Genesis frameworks and those who want to modify some of the settings related to Genesis framework for that particular theme. Uh, if you want to modify some of the parts of the theme, for example, like say header, footer, or before you want uh, you want to some add something before the title, after the title, or after the content, before the content, uh, within some sidebar, after sidebar, or footer or header should be as per your uh, design, or you have some layout in mind. Then, in such case, this Genesis Simple Hooks plugin is definitely something that you should be using. Uh, let me show you how to use it. Before that, I want you to first notice a visual hook guide. This visual hook guide is going to tell you how the Genesis framework had some settings for example get header loop start loop end genesis before before header genesis header so whenever i say i want to do something with genesis header and display something for example i want to display some time here then i should be using genesis header before header or genesis header so if I include any shortcode here and enable e execute shortcode on this hook I should be saying save changes and that shortcode will be run after this genesis header if you want something to display before entry header as you can see this new hooks from genesis 2.0 are applied and now you don't have genesis title or something you have genesis entry header so genesis entry header and before and after this header so take a look at this genesis before header genesis after header and now take a look at content let's go at the top and see genesis before content genesis before content this is our content and as this hook is old and not yet updated to Genesis 2.0 there is some changes here with name Genesis after content or before content and these before sidebar and entry you will see there is a change so wait for new plugin if you are using Genesis 2.0 as you can see each part of this framework has specific div area and this area is going to tell you about your usage of short codes or your usage of specific PHP code so whenever you want to manipulate that particular div area you are going to first find that area here add the code if it is short code you have to enable this if it's PHP code you have to enable this and then save changes after that whenever your theme will run it will show you the updated changes when it runs the hook along with this div area when this div area is loaded the changes will be executed here and then you will see the changes here on page this plugin is free of cost you can download it from 
WordPress repository. Just type simple hooks and you will find Genesis simple hooks. I have to update my plugin now so that it will show me the new changes. Let's get back to simple hooks. Let's see if it has any new changes. Yes, it is. It's showing some of the new content related changes. As you can see. It has before post title post title before post content which you can see here before content before loop etc all you have to do is just add your code here click on execute shortcut click on execute php on this hook and just save the changes once you do that it will execute those code for example, I have this Google Site Verification for Google Webmaster Tools uh, code in MetaTag. I have to say execute PHP on this hook and save changes. And then I can verify my site. Like this, you can execute PHP or any short code with the help of Genesis Hooks plugin. If you want to see this visual hook guide, you can go to genesistutorials.com slash visual dash hook dash guide and then you will see this guide which you can use for your reference while designing themes or you want to modify your own themes. I hope this tutorial helps you. Bye.